Oh, no, not right now. Not right now, Roxanne. Come on. Oh, and slithering. What up, y'all? This your boy Ace here. And welcome to Afternoon's Delight. So, I haven't covered NXT for a long time on the channel. So, I've gotten caught up on NXT. I've been watching it. The, I've watched the last three episodes. So, I just, I knew at some point I was just going to have to skip it here. I saw a little bit of NXT around WrestleMania time, like after WrestleMania, when Roxanne uh, became champ again. And then I lost my, like, I was just too busy, man. It was too much stuff going on during the week to watch NXT. It was a little, it's a little easier for me to, uh, to watch NXT during the season. I mean, uh, during the summer. So, you know, I, I'm able to, uh, keep up with NXT again, uh, this summer. So you're going to be seeing some NXT videos from me, but not like, la I'm going to warn y'all, not like last year. For those of y'all that was on the channel last year. I won't be doing NXT like that, like, you know, like I, the way I do Raw or Dynamite or whatever, where I go over, like, different scenes and stuff during the episode. I won't be doing it like that. I'll be doing, like, videos where where it's, like, topic more topic-based. Um, And I don't know if I'll do it every week, but, like, I'm, I'm going to definitely try to, like, just do some topics and talk about them. Do it a lot more different this year because I, I think this year... I don't want to be strained to, um, you know, covering Raw, NXT, Dynamite, SmackDown every damn week because it takes so much time. And then this is an Olympic year. I got a different channel where I cover the Olympics and stuff like that um, this summer. And I know I won't have time to always cover NXT. So I'm going to try to do the best I can doing it this way. So. So what I'm so here's the plan for this week and then next week, um, you know, coming out of battleground as well. So I'm gonna do this Jordan, Jordan Grace video. We're gonna talk about her and Roxanne Perez in this video. Then we're gonna talk about Tatum Paxley and Ariana Grace with Jordan Grace in that scene yesterday. We're gonna do a video on that, and then we're gonna do a video talking about the North, the first ever North American. Women's title match, and then on Battleground, we'll probably cover both matches on Battleground. So I'll recap both ma matches coming out of Battleground on Sunday night, going into Monday. The the videos will probably be up like Monday or Tuesday, and then next week, whatever happens on NXT, if there if there's something I want to cover, I'll cover it. But if not, we'll just move on to the next week. But I'm gonna try to make sure. Throughout the rest of the summer, I'm going to try to keep up with NXT every single week like I did in past years. So, hopefully we can get all this done, man. But let's get into the let's get into this, man. Let's talk about Jordan Grace and Roxanne Perez. This is one of the most unique things that I've, that I've seen happen in women's pro wrestling in a while. So, we, so I think WWE and TNA, they've developed this partnership between each other. Um... And they've been doing it like at the Rumble, going back to Mickey James like a couple of years ago. TNA and WWE seem to be on really good standing these days. Like they don't, it's not like AEW and WWE where it's like an actual real war. Like because Tony Khan and Triple H, they don't like each other. They've been on record and saying they, they're not going to do business with, with each other. Uh, so they're, they're basically more like what WCW used to be with the WWF back in the uh, 90s, bro. They do not like each other. But it's cool to see that TNA and WWE are working together. Because this is cool. Because you could actually do some things. If a TNA, it's free promotion for you. So if I'm TNA, it's whatever. You know what I'm saying? If I can bring my wrestlers over to the WWE to get them more exposure, that's great. Because now people know who Jordan Grace is, bro. Like, WWE fans know who Jordan Grace is, which is great. I think she's one of the best wrestlers in the world. And so I'm glad that she's getting this shine right now. People locked on to her. And and because she's, her build is actually more like what you usually do see out of WWE. These power. Like. These power type wrestlers, man. Like, that's usually what we do see. 
That's usually what we do see out of these WWE wrestlers, man. Um, I I think I think just like with Naomi, I think Jordan Grace, whenever her contract expires, I think she's gonna go on to the WWE, and she should because this actually I wanted I forgot to talk about this in my Kiana James video from Raw. I forgot to bring up that I would love to see Kiana James face Jay Cargill, Bianca Belair one day, like at WrestleMania. Like I think that shit will cook. Like once Jay Cargill becomes a way better wrestler. That matchup will be great, and then imagine Jordan Grace against either one, either three, either one of the three girls, Kiana, Bianca, or Jay. Like that'd be great, and then maybe Jordan Grace against Nia Jax. I think that should have killed too. I think that's or oh, Rhea Ripley too. Rhea Ripley too. Like there's all types of shit that they can do, man. Um. But I love me some Jordan Grace, man. Jordan Grace is awesome, bro. I've always liked I liked her build. She's strong. She used to be a lot more fatter, but now she's more muscular now. And man, she be popping them guns, man. She be popping those guns, man. Um, I've always enjoyed seeing her on TNA, man. I miss Deanna Perazzo on TNA. Like she's been AEW, and I don't think. Uh, she's getting more money. Yeah, she getting more money, but uh, does it feel like they got her as a priority over there? Like she was at TNA. She can go back to TNA. Whenever her contract is done at AEW, she can go back to TNA, man. Or even WWE. You know? Because uh, she's just... My opinion, she's just too great to be wasted, man. She's just too great to be wasted, bro. You know what I mean? But, uh... I think it'll be really cool because they, I don't know if y'all know. Now, I haven't watched a lot of TNA since Scott and Moore got fired. I'm going to admit that to y'all. That's why y'all really haven't seen TNA videos. But I just started keeping back up with TNA maybe about a couple of weeks ago. And uh, y'all know who's over there, right? Y'all know who's over there, right? I'm going to give y'all some time to think about it. Y'all know who's over there, right? Y'all know who's over there, right? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm trying to give y'all some time to think about it, man. Y'all know who's over there, right? Y'all know who's over there, right? <laughs> Try to give I'm going to give y'all a little bit of time to think about it, man. Let's see. Let's see, bro. Oh, man, I'm trying to give y'all some time, bro. I'm going to give y'all a little bit of time to think on it, man. I'm give y'all a little bit of time to think about it. Dana Brooke. She calls herself Ash by Elegance. And actually, she still goes actually by Dana Brooke on there. But she's over there now. Remember, she was just on NXT last year. You know? Um... But uh, she goes by Ash by Elegance because her real name is Ashley May Se Seberay. I think that's how you say it, Seberay, Sebera, whatever it is. But that's actually her real name. You know what I'm saying? That's a, that's actually her real name. You know what I'm saying, Ashley. So she's over there right now. And if I were you guys, I you know if you have access to Access TV. I think you should check it out. I think you should check out TNA to kind of get yourself familiar with it's over there. Because one of the things that I think the WWE should do in TNA and what they're doing with her, uh, Roxanne Perez and Jordan Grace, they should do a storyline where the championships are on each other's shows, right? And you're, and you're doing this thing where the NXT girls got to try to go grab the knockouts title. I think in this match, see, I don't really want Roxanne Perez to lose that title. But I think it would be so interesting if you had Jordan Grace as a double champion and then she bought the NXT the main title. Because what the, one thing that Shawn Michaels could do is he could put some shine on that North American title. And then maybe like later this summer, Slammiversary, TNA always does Slammiversary. That's their biggest summer pay-per-view, right? You can have a match at SummerSlam for the NXT Women's Title. So Jordan Grace, either you could do the re you could run the rematch, 
with Roxanne Perez going to TNA Slammiversary to go get the title back. She go gets it back or somebody else. Because th that's, what that's what we're going to do in, in the next video I do. We're going to talk about that scene that she had with Tatum Paxley and Ariana Grace. Because I, I got some ideas for that. Um, but overall, though, overall, man, they, man, bro, like, Overall, man, they 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 got a chance to cook, bro. Like, like, like they really got a chance to cook right now, bro. They really got a chance to cook with this shit right now. They really got a chance to cook. You know what I mean? They really got a chance to cook with this, bro. Like, I'm telling y'all, they got a chance to really cook with this. I think that, like I said, if they do it right, if they do it right, bro, they, they got a chance, man. They got a chance, man. They really do. They got a chance, man. They really got a chance to make this shit special, bro. Because, like I said before, I think to have wrestlers fighting after other titles on different companies is genius. It's one of the sad things of why WWE and AEW not working together and why they're... I think both companies are losing out on a great opportunity, by the way. I think when you have wrestlers fighting for other companies' titles, it enhances both products, bro. Because now it's like... Because there's a lot of interest in this shit. Like, a lot of people have been talking about this shit. Jordan Grace and Roxanne Perez fighting for other company titles. Like, we don't see this shit. Because... Other promotions usually don't work work with each other like that. Especially WWE don't usually work with other companies like that. I'm glad they're actually doing something outside of the Rumble with those TNA knockouts. Like, that's fucking cool, bro. Like, that's, that shit's fucking cool, bro. They had Jordan Grace come over here as a champion, going in the battleground facing Roxanne Perez. And I've been loving Roxanne Perez. You know, I haven't spoken on her a lot. I've been loving the heel character that Roxanne Perez been rocking. It reminds me, it's like, it's like Core J, basically. It's like, it's like really watching Core J. Because, you know, we all miss a Core J. Core J not around right now. You know, she's dealing with the injury. She actually came on a house show. I think she, you know, she looks good. You know, she's off the crutches and everything. I think she'll be back pretty soon. Like, I, th I actually think she'll be back by the fall. Wrestling. Like, actually out there wrestling. Like, Saul Ruka came back really fast. Like, I didn't expect Saul Ruka to come back as fast as she did. So, I think she's going to be on a similar timeline. Like, right around 8 to eight to 10 months is about what you would expect from an injury like that anyway. So, but Jordan Grace, man. <sighs> bro, this could be historic, man. If you have Jordan Grace take that NXT Women's title. And you build a whole storyline on both shows around the NXT girls trying to get that title back at Slammiversary. That shit would be good, bro. That shit would be good. Like, and this is something that you don't need to run all the time. Like, you don't need to always run this back and forth shit. Because it'll get old at some point. It'll get kind of old. You want to keep it special. So maybe do it like once or twice a year. That way, the other girls that's already in your company can still go after the title. Like, after Slammiversary, whatever happens with this shit is done. Now we can have whoever's going to go after that title. Unless you do double champions again, where now Roxanne is bringing a TNA Knockouts title. Because she used to be in TNA, right? She used to be in TNA before she came to NXT. She was actually in TNA. And so, you could do that. 
And then somebody go get it from Roxanne gets the gets the knockout title back, and then they do whatever they're gonna do. And then we bring this storyline back up sometime next year. You know what I mean? Like you could do it like that. But it enhances both sides, bro. And it'll be awesome. See, they should also they should have also did that with the tag team titles too. Because TNA has some prestigious tag team titles too. They could do this shit with the tag team too. Because right now NXT hasn't had a tag team division really since they lost Unholy Unions, Alpha Fire, Ali Dawn. Ever since they lost those titles to the main roster last spring, we, we have not had a tag team division in NXT for the women's. And it's sad, bro. So I think what they should do is, after they're done with this, in the fall, run the tag, run the TNA knockouts tag teams, who, who's ever the champion at, the, at that point, NXT fights for them. Fights for them, bro. I that shit to be gold, bro. Because I do like the partnerships that AEW has with a lot of other promotions, like New Japan Pro Wrestling. And, you know, they fight for that New Japan, some of the New Japan titles, like the IWGP title right now. I don't think they defend the strong woman, the strong, the strong title over there. But, Will Nightingale and Mercedes Money was just fighting for that title last year. You know what I'm saying? And actually, they got a Lucha. The Lucha champion is over, is, is on there right now. Looking for smoke for Mercedes Monet's TBS title. Her name is Stephanie Vocker. We're going to hear more from her tonight. Uh, uh, I'm actually recording this while Dynamite just started. But, bro, there's a lot of shit you can do, man. And I think in order to really make this storyline matter and make people really care about it after Battleground, is to have Jordan Grace. Like Jordan Grace got to win, bro. Jordan Grace has to win. Because now you're trying... You now you've created this intrigue of who's going to go to some, who's going to go to Slammiversary and get that title from Jordan Grace. Is it going to be Roxanne herself? We're going to run the rematch at Slammiversary, or is it going to be somebody else? Let's talk about that in the next video, man. But going ahead, uh, also I got a poll going on right now, and it is on fire right now. They're like this has been one of my most popular. Polls of the year in wrestling. We've got almost 800 votes. I didn't even put the... It's, it ain't even been 24 hours yet. I just put this out 16 hours ago. Asking out point blank period who you think is going to win between Jordan Grace and Roxanne Perez. And I'm actually shocked. We got 776 votes, 45 likes. Got a lot of comments. And I'm shocked right now. A majority of the people have chosen Jordan Grace winning. I'm shocked because I thought Roxanne Perez would run away with this thing, man. Only 31% got Roxanne Perez, bro. That is shocking. I don't know. Like, it's crazy because I don't know what. It's going to be hard. Like, I, I had some people in there saying it's going to be hard to predict this. Like, I think it is, man. I don't know what direction they're going to go in, bro. The right direction is Jordan Grace, though. Because then it's like, what was the point of Jordan Grace coming over? If she just gonna lose to Roxanne Perez, like what was the point? I think you create more entry having see the the TNA knockouts title should have been on the line too. It probably would have it would have uh, with Roxanne Perez if she held on to one. It would have created some entry for somebody from TNA to go try to go get Roxanne Perez and then invite Roxanne Perez to Slam Anniversary. To go defend that title so they can get that TNA knockout championship back. Maybe or do or it be Jordan Grace herself. But I think you create more entry having Jordan Grace take that NXT woman's title. Because now it's like, oh shit, who gonna, you know, like I said, who gonna go to Slam Anniversary and go get that title for Jordan Grace, bro? So thank y'all for voting in the poll, by the way. But yeah, man, that's where we're at, man. And I wanna hear y'all in the comment section because I think this is very interesting. Like, out of every match I've seen this year, in the, uh, 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 the only one that I would say is on was on par with this 
was that Willow Nightingale Mercedes Monet match that we just had at AEW for the TBS title. This is the one woman's match this year that I, I, I'm the most, 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 most interested in. Because it could go either way, and there's a lot of ramifications on what happens after this. Again, can you imagine Jordan Grace getting that, that NXT Women's title, bro? Bro, this shit, go, this shit be on fire this summer, man. Because then you could even do a little war between TNA and uh, NXT. Have them go to each other's shows and shit. The only problem with TNA is that they tape, they tape a hit of time. They don't do live episodes, so you won't really get that live factor on the TNA episodes. But NXT is live. So you could just do, you could probably run the storyline and have three or four wrestlers come over to NXT every week. And we just do the storyline on NXT instead of on TNA. You know? But we'll see what they do with this, man. Let's talk about who should, you know. Damn, man. I, I talk so damn long, man. Like, I could have just ran this. <laughs> Man, shout out to y'all, shout out to John Drake and the rest of y'all, man. Uh, get this video a like, share, subscribe. Thank y'all for watching, man. After news, delight.